A BaseNet Intermedia Group production. From BaseNet, it's about Los Angeles, the story that will inform, motivate, and inspire. Now, here's Julie Murray about Los Angeles. Hi, I'm Julie Murray about Los Angeles, and I'm standing here in front of the Carolwood Barn, Walt Disney's own, where visitors can visit all of his unique trains and remember the man that created the magic. On the third Sunday of each month, volunteers open Disney's barn for all to experience. Walt, when he was a child, lived on a farm in Missouri. And on that farm, there were a lot of buildings, but one of them was a barn. And he also loved railroads. There was a railroad that would go by, and a lot of the times, the engineer on that railroad was his uncle. As a tribute to one of Disney's passions, trains can be seen on display inside the barn, and located next to it is one of the original passenger cars from the Disneyland Railroad. Okay, and it became harder for the guests to see on opposite ends of the, uh, the rail cars here. They're very nice to look at, very pleasing, um, but they just became very hard to look through new attractions. Uh, slowly these were phased out. They built some new train sets, and then these were retired in uh, March of 1974. The Sunday in December offered a special treat by inviting Mindy Johnson, the author of Tinkerbell and Evolution. When I saw all of the artwork, I thought, Oh, there's got to be a book here. There's something pretty amazing about this beautiful artwork. And it's something that I think a lot of people are huge Tinkerbell fans. I know I am, but I, the more people I meet, she everybody loves her. What's not to love about that character? Johnson said her research led to even more discoveries of the legends behind Tinkerbell. So that unlocked a seven, almost a seven-year journey in getting the book put together. Yeah, and lots of discoveries along the way with Ginny Mack as the face model for Tinkerbell, Kathy Beaumont having done live action work, Margaret Carey's great live action work, um, Alice Davis, and, and she unearthed some wonderful photos of Mark Davis that have never been seen before. The barn has been opened since 1999 and is located in Griffith Park near Travel Town. The only Disney attraction in the world that's free. I'm Julie Mui about Los Angeles.